Hey everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. I had an auction yesterday on live on YouTube and it went so well. There was 26 paintings. I sold every one of them. So I think I'm going to start doing that more often, maybe about every three or four weeks. I'm going to offer about 25, 35 paintings to uh, get rid of my inventory so I can keep making paintings for you. So be looking for that in the future. If you are a subscriber, just make sure to click on the notifications bell and that way you'll know when I'm previewing or getting ready to post a video or whatever. Today I'm going to do two 8x10s, but I'm going to do a dip. But I'm just going to I'm going to do a dirty pour first and then dip it and see what happens. Typically when I do a dip, I just pour puddles of paint and this time I'm going to do a dirty pour just to see what the outcome is. So real quickly, this is Peacock Teal. This in the bottle is Quinacridone Violet. Lightened up just a hair and a pinch of uh, purple pizzazz in it. This is Dioxazine Purple. Ultra Blue Deep, Festive Green, and then this really deep, beautiful color I mixed together. It's a little bit of Calypso Blue, Ultra Blue Deep, and a Deep Forest Green. So the combination to come up with that is how I get that together. So this was some of my colors left from my peacock pores. So I'm still kind of on that roll. And I do have a little bit of this golden color with, it was the gold paint with a little bit of brass mixed into it. So there's not a lot of brass left. But I'm going to do a dirty pour on top of one canvas and then flip over and dip and smash and do it that way. I am going to just put down a very light coat of white just to make the canvases a little bit fluid. So I'm using my Wilton icing fondant spreader here just to get things moving around on the canvas. I like to bring the white around to the sides as well just so it goes over the edges better. I have push pins on the bottom of the canvases. Again, they're 8 by 10s I'm just doing this small scale just to see, experiment, and see what happens. Everything is mixed 50-50, 1 to 1 ratio with Floetrol. Latex based, it has to be water based. And I do have a little white that I may put between the layers so that everything is not super dark but it may really lighten things up. I'm not real sure. So I'm just going to take a cup here and start putting colors in. So I'm going to start with a little white. Do this dioxazine purple. A little bit of white. This beautiful violet color. A little bit of white. Ultra Blue Deep. I'm going to do this deep peacock teal color. It's not peacock teal. This is actually peacock teal. This is more turquoise to me, but it's called peacock teal. And then this is like a really deep teal. Put a little, little splash of green. I don't think I want too much because sometimes green can kind of take over. Now go deep with some gold. I'll go back in with a little bit more of this deep teal color. And maybe just one more shot of the blue. Okay. I'm not even putting the cut down. I'm just flipping it over. I do like 
for it to sit for a few minutes so I'm going to just let the paint sit and then I'll come back in about five minutes or so and we'll see what happens. Pop a few bubbles. Prettiness in the cup there. Don't know if you can see, but it's so pretty. I'm going to try to contain this for the most part. gold barely shows up. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on top. Well, I guess I better tilt it to the edges. So we don't have any white, white spots. Pretty glove. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So I'm pressing the corners. I'm pressing the canvas. So it's squeezing out. So here we go. Very interesting. It kind of looks like a crab. So because this didn't go all the way to the edge, I'm going to try to scoop some of this up. better to do it with the palette knife. That way you don't muddy up your paint as much. This didn't quite make it over the edge here. I'm just kind of making sure some color is there. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. And then go back this way some to bring that violet color out a little bit. I'm just going to tilt this one a little bit. It's kind of light on the paint, so I'm not going to tilt it too much because it, it won't slide if it's kind of on the thinner side. So I like that, and I'd like the green to come a little this way, so I'm going to try to just kind of glide I'll put my palette knife in some green and see if I can just pull some green in that way. Same on this side. So you can always make your piece more fascinating than it is.
if it's not quite fascinating enough, I say, do something with it. So I'm just going to add some lime here. And there. Maybe just scatter a little bit of gold. I want to I want to very gently pull that over some. Here's one. And I just dripped right in the canvas. That's okay. I'll just squiggle my finger through it. Here's the second one. So there they are. I'll put my butcher paper down again because the puppy pads, you get some beautiful drips, but the texture of the, even on the plastic side, you get that texture and the paint kind of soaks in and it leaves it look lumpy and bumpy and it doesn't look good for paint skins. So I wanted to put down butcher paper where if something really beautiful turns up then I'll have it on good paper that I can peel off and actually use. But my butcher paper is in the link in the Amazon recommendations link. It cleans up well and it's great for paint skins. And if you get thick enough paint that dries on it, it'll peel the paint will peel right off the paper super easy which is the great thing about butcher paper it has a it's a paper on a roll but it has a plastic coating on one side and that is what makes it so fabulous for cleaning up or using for paint skins so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel check out all the links below the video my Facebook group come join me if you're not there already We've got about 8,000 people that are fabulous artists. They share their work. Not everybody does, just, you know, a group, a small group of them. A lot of them just like to watch and see what posts and creative ideas that people can come up with. And there's some beautiful artwork that happens in that group. There's PayPal and Patreon if you'd like to make a donation towards the supplies. I spend a lot of money on paint and supplies, believe me. I just did my taxes and it was a ton of money so I do spend a lot of money on supplies people think that maybe I get it for free or whatever and I don't so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video have a great day thank you bye bye